some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Michigan, where a soft hard tries his hand at being a pro se litigant, and, well, it completely backfires on him. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Okay, were you on duty on May 24th, uh, 2024, at approximately 9 p.m.? I was. Um, what was the weather like at that time? Uh, know? weather that day was clear, uh, and it was still light outside. The road conditions? Uh, dry. Okay. And you were on patrol at that time? I was. You were in a marked, uh, patrol car? I was. Uh, where were you on patrol? Uh, I was patrolling the downtown area near, uh, 11 Mile in Washington. That's in the city of Royal Oak? It is. What um what what happened at that time at those crossroads? Um I was uh stopped at the uh, eleven mile and Washington light facing westbound. Uh, um I had a green arrow and a vehicle uh proceeded eastbound mile, mile through a light uh which gained my attention. Um that light was red for them, which draw my attention to that vehicle. Okay, what type of vehicle was that? Uh, I believe it was a black uh, 2024 Ford Edge. Is your vehicle equipped with a dash cam? It Judge, at this time, I'd like to play that video from Officer Moran's dash cam. Okay. Um, this dash cam footage is pretty much a textbook example of a traffic violation. And, well, this soft hard just doesn't seem to understand that to begin with. Can the court um, see that? I can. Officer Moran, you can see that video that I, I can. Up? Yep. Okay. Just playing that video now, Judge. Okay. Now, as you can see from the officer's dash cam right here, that is a green left turn signal with the other two uh, signals right there in view, obviously are red. Now, with the officer having the green signal right there, does that mean that uh, the opposing lanes are either red or green? Ding, 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 ding. They're red at this point. So, Softart, you definitely messed up in this situation right here. Now we all make errors. Uh, was this an error in judgment? I don't know. Perhaps it was. Perhaps it wasn't. But let's just go ahead and give the soft hard the benefit of the doubt and see if he is able to uh, defend himself on this particular situation right here. Is that the video taken from your patrol car? That is the vehicle for my patrol vehicle. Um, does that fairly and accurately portray the events of the incident that led to the defendant being issued a civil infraction on that date and time? It does. Your Honor, I'd ask that that video be admitted into evidence. All right, so admitted. Um, officer, so what, what do you see on that video? Uh, what I see, like I spoke to earlier, um, I was stopped at the 11 mile at Washington light facing westbound. Um, I got the green arrow to turn southbound on Washington when a vehicle proceeded uh, eastbound through, obviously, the red light. And then you pulled that vehicle over? Yes, I immediately uh, initiated a traffic stop. And that was on 11 Mile in the city of Royal Oak? It was, yep. When you approached that vehicle, um, did you observe the driver of that vehicle? I did. Do you recognize the driver of that vehicle on this Zoom today? I, I do. Can. What's your objection? Because I was traveling. I wasn't driving. 
Oh, come on now, man. Is that the best you've got? If that's the best you've got, then, well, this is a pretty short case right here. So let's continue on. Okay, overruled. Go ahead. (laughs) Are you going to answer the question, Mr. Officer Marine? Yes, I do see the defendant in the court uh, today. Your Honor, let the record reflect that Officer Moran has identified the defendant, Anthony Mathis. The record will so reflect. When you pulled the defendant over, did you have a conversation with him? I did. And um, in that conversation, did he admit to you that he had driven through the, the red light? He did. And ultimately, you issued him a ticket? I did. What was that ticket for that you had issued him? I actually issued him an impeding traffic ticket. Okay. But that's not what he actually did, correct? No, that's not. Why did you issue him the uh, impeding traffic ticket? Um, Mr. Mathis at the time had a good driving record. Uh, He knew what he did. He told me he admitted to it, and uh, he had a good attitude on the road, so I chose to go an impeding traffic ticket. I object. What's your opinion? I never admitted to anything. Do you guys have did you guys pull that up? Did I admit it to to something? You'll have a chance to. That's false. Mr. Mathis, you'll have a chance. Your objection's overruled. This is his testimony from his memory. You'll have a chance to testify yourself and add any additional oh. evidence here. So at this point, that is not a proper objection. It's overruled. Anything else to add there to that? What, just very briefly, Judge, what. Um, and you see, uh, Soft Hard, this is exactly why you need a lawyer at this point, because a lawyer would have waited till it was his turn to ask the questions of the officer at that point. There are procedures, and if you go pro se, you often or not don't know those procedures, and you end up falling flat on your face. What um, infraction did you actually observe? Uh, I could have wrote him two, uh, two infractions, either traffic con- uh, disobey traffic control device, or just a traffic uh, traffic signal, and that's what he actually did. Correct. Correct. Judge, I have nothing further at this time. Now, Mr. Mathis, it's your opportunity to ask Officer Moran any questions that you feel are necessary. Now, I just want to instruct you: you'll have a chance to testify if you choose to in a moment. Right now, it's your anything that you say should be in the form of a question directed at the officer. If you're going to start testifying, I'm going to have to interrupt you and and redirect you. You'll have that chance in a moment. It's just to ask questions. So go ahead with any questions you have. All right. Well, for the record, is there is there any injured party? Do we have a sworn affidavit or complaint from an injured party? No, there's no injured party. Okay, so we don't have any um, injured party. So so judge. Uh, you, you've been sworn in to uphold the constitution, correct? You, you, this isn't, you're not, I'm not on the stand. I'm not answering any questions like that, Mr. Moran or Mr. Mathis, excuse me. So, so what type of, what type of court is this? Is this, is this Amity Maritime Law? Mr. Mathis, right now is your opportunity to ask Officer Moran any questions that you want to. If you're going to make some legal objections or something along those lines, you can do that in your closing. But right now it's. This moment in time is for you to ask okay. Officer Moran any questions. Okay. Well, for the record, we don't have any injured parties. Correct? Judge, that's been asked and answered. Distinct. He already answered that question. Right. Correct. I just wanted to make sure that we got that on the record. So if there's no injured party here, then then why are we here? No. Judge, I don't think that's an appropriate question for it Officer no, Moran. No, it, it should have been any no type of charge. Of Hang anything. on, Mr. Mathis. When there's an just like when you made an objection, we all waited for the court to make a ruling. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to do. So, Mr. Kluzny just made an objection that your question was actually more of a, a legal argument. Uh, I think that's what your objection was, Mr. Kluzny. Correct? Yes, I don't believe, Judge. I don't believe there was a question directed to the officer. So I'm I'm sustaining that objection. And again, you can make those legal arguments or whatever the case is that you want to make at the end. Right now, it's just questions or not to Officer Moran. Anything else? No, that's the only question that I have. If it, 
There's no injured party. He said no one was injured. Yeah, the no victim, no crime argument. Yeah, that doesn't really work, especially in this occasion right here, considering that you were observed running a traffic light. It's cut and dry, you soft hard. You violated the law. Now you got to pay the fine, and all that's all it's going to be is a fine. Why are you putting yourself through this and making yourself look like a complete moron on the internet? Wait, wait, don't answer that question. We already know the answer. You've been listening to too many soft-tard gurus who've been leading you astray because you don't know the law to begin with, nor do they, but you listen to them anyway because you think they know the law, right? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, you brainless imbecile, but you've been fleeced by these guys. So you might as well smarten up and uh, learn what the actual laws are. All right. So, Mr. Kluzny, would you like to call any additional witnesses? Or let, I should ask you first, any redirect of Officer Marine? Not at this time, Judge. All right. Um, then any additional witnesses, Mr. Kluzny? No, you're out. Mr. Mathis, will you be testifying or do you have any witnesses that you'd like to call on your behalf? No, I don't. All right. Uh, Mr. Kluzny, then your closing statement. Um, Judge, based on the testimony of Officer Moran and, and the video, um, it's clear by a preponderance of evidence that the defendant committed uh, the offense of disobeying a traffic signal. The authority for the stop comes from MCL 257.611 um, or 257.612. I believe that's for the tra traffic control device. The, the video in this case could not be more clear, Judge. You see the officer Moran is in the left turn lane. He gets a yellow, a green arrow, and the defendant in his vehicle has a red light drives right through the red light. If Officer Moran didn't stop, he would have hit the defendant's vehicle because he went right through the red light. Um, I, it's rare that we have a video that is as clear as this, Judge. Um, and the officer tried to give him a break by writing him for an impeding instead of what he actually did, which was disobeying a traffic signal. And um, I believe it's clear based on the testimony in the video that the defendant is responsible for that traffic offense of disobeying a traffic signal. Repeat your change. Yeah. Thank you. We got the light. Mr. Mathis, your closing argument. Well, what I would like to say on the record is no one was injured. There's no injured parties. If you guys can't bring forth any injured party, then why are we still here? Is that your excuse for running a red light? There was nobody injured, so therefore there's no crime? That is a very lame-ass argument, dude. Sure, you can run a thousand traffic lights and nothing will happen, but then there'll be that one day where you end up hitting, injuring, or even well, ending somebody's life. And then, well, what's your excuse then? Well, I ran a thousand traffic lights and nothing happened. Well, there was that one time. But, of course, you're a damn soft heart, so you don't believe in responsibility to begin with. Now, do you? I need this to be dismissed, and uh, the, the funds that was issued on the bond account needs to be reimbursed to me. Really? You guys don't have any injured party here. Based on the Constitution, the Sixth Amendment, if you guys can't bring forth the accuser, then this needs to be dismissed. Anything else, Mr. Mathis? Not at the moment. All right. Was there a bond posted? I'm not quite sure what he's talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Judge, it looks like there was a $175 bond posted. Judge, I apologize. I actually, the, the file is here. I'm going to send the file into court. Mr. Kluzny, the amendment was to uh, disobey a traffic signal, which is a... Uh, okay. I apologize, Judge. I'm the file coming into you. That's all right. The amendment that the people made here was to disobey a traffic signal. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. All right. The courts heard the testimony, the arguments of the parties, reviewed the video that was introduced as evidence. Uh, the video shows clearly um, uh, the vehicle uh, driven by um, Mr. Mathis uh, go through a red light, uh, the traffic signal at 11 in Washington. 
the standard here at issue is preponderance. The video showed beyond any doubt, really, that that's what occurred. Um, also, there's testimony from Officer Moran that he, uh, that Mr. Mathis did actually admit on the roadside that he had done what was alleged to have had occurred here today. Um, that testimony was uh, uncontroverted by any other evidence that was introduced. Um, with that, uh, the court does find uh, Mr. Mathis to be responsible for the amended charge of disobey a traffic signal. That's a $150 fine. Mr. Mathis has posted a $175 bond. So the court will apply the bond to the find of 150. There's a $25 uh, refund coming to Mr. Mathis and that's all for today. All right, we're all set. Thank you, Mr. Kluzny, Mr. Mathis, Officer Moran. You all have a good day. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge. Thank you Officer. This is just further evidence that this soft tart BS doesn't even work in court at all. Yet they keep doing this BS, thinking that's going to have some magical results that'll get them off. Yeah, there's the occasional time when the charges are dismissed, but that's not a victory. That just basically means they don't have time to deal with it, and it can still come back and bite them in the ass later on, if the need should arise. So at any rate, this guy ended up making himself look like a complete fool in front of everybody using these soft hard arguments. Congratulations, dude. You're a freaking moron. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?